Guys, if you install in Western Digital Discovery software and you get in this message saying that the Discovery software installation has failed, I'm gonna show you how you can fix it really quick in a few seconds. And actually the solution is super simple. And in my opinion, this should never have happened. But anyway, let's get started. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, click the notification bell if this video was helpful to you, and let's get started. So the problem is hidden in this step right here where it asks you to help Western Digital to improve their Western Digital discovery software. And it seems like they give you an option whether you want to share the info or whether you don't. But in reality, there is no option. If you choose do not share, you're going to get that message saying that the installation has failed. And if you decide to share your information and let them have that information, then it's going to install no problem. There we go. Let's go ahead and click share the info and look at that. So just like I said, you know, if you decide not to share information with them, well, they're just going to say, we're not going to let you use this program then. In my opinion, this is not very good, but you know, nowadays every single software tries to use information to improve their software. If you decide not to help them or if you don't want to share the info, they're just going to deny access to their software. I wish they just put a check mark that says, if you don't agree to these terms, you're not going to be able to use the software, but yet it kind of give you an option, which is really not an option. And it even creates more confusion because you don't know what's the reason why this didn't work. So I hope that this will clarify the situation and help you to install the software because you do really need to have this software to back up if you want to buy any third party software. So if you want to use the Western Digital Discovery software, you just need to click share the info. But the good thing is, after you install the software, you can actually remove this access to send the information to Western Digital. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Just got to go to the program, go to this gear icon, go to settings. And right where it says product improvement program, just got to untick this check mark. And this will disable sending information to Western Digital if you don't want to. So on another hand, they do give you an option to avoid sending information to their company. I don't know why they couldn't just say that up front and let you decide whether you want to do it or not. But anyway, I hope you guys find this video helpful and it helped you install this software. If you find this video helpful, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel for more interesting, helpful videos. And if you have any comments, questions, thoughts, just leave them down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to read those comments. So hope you have a nice day and see you soon. Bye-bye.